Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Warwick University's Question Time. Making decisions about how you spend money, making a decision about what the, what the state does, making decisions about choices, those are things that should be decided by people through a political system, not, I'm afraid, by but, bureaucrats. But that, Jackie, if you still have influence and, and Douglas in government, why don't you tell the Prime Minister to institute now uh, the post of Chief Economist of the government to the Prime Minister? and select someone from this university. Now, let's do it now. <laughs> <laughs> International students really are the global talent that every country is desperate to attract. They're the movers and the shakers of the future. Luckily, many of them do come from Warwick. It's quite possible, it ought to be possible, to have an immigration system that attracts people you want, but keeps out people that you don't want. And we, UK, one island, need to lead in the immigration debate across the world and show how it is to be done. But that's precisely what Ed Miliband's policy was. That's precisely what it is. I'm afraid I think we're doing another barber boom. Instead of doing it through fiscal stimulus, we're doing it through monetary stimulus. Cheap credit cannot make you prosperous. Given the chance to make money through speculation, people will. And the only way of stopping that is through serious regulation. We know the economic center of gravity is moving away from Europe. The question really is, would you as a business be better off if we stayed in the EU or yeah. didn't, right? That's the proper question, surely. I'm afraid our time is up. Um, I'm sure you'd like to join with me in saying a very big thank you to the panel. <laughs> We had our first question time hosted by the Warwick Economics Department and it's been a really, really good event. We had great questions from the floor, lots of engagement and the panel members were fantastic. Uh, I loved it, the audience seemed to get involved, uh, it was a sparky uh, platform, you know, the panel were engaging. I thought it was fun and I thought at the same time uh, that people from the audience were genuinely getting to ask questions they wanted to ask. I think the questions that were selected covered a wide range of fields, so they were very interesting and relevant to current issues. Events like this are really important for our students because they get them thinking about how the work they do here in the university can actually be applied to some real world challenges. The ability to be able to debate ideas, to hear new things that are happening, particularly here at, at Warwick in terms of the economics work, is 
really valuable and really interesting. So today's been a brilliant opportunity to be able to do that. At the moment, getting feedback, it's all excitement. It's all euphoria. On a more specific level, they're saying we really want more of this. They're saying we want to have more such events because they are being inspired, of course, but also learning about different people's perspectives. Something like this is really interesting, and you can learn a lot from it. It's one thing learning things in the classroom, it's another hearing uh, kind of the leading politicians and leading statesmen talk about it. Actually hearing people who are involved in policy making, listen to their, how, their different perspectives and how they view things was a really good experience for me. I hope this is the first of many um, and I look forward to the department putting on more of these kind of events that bring together those two worlds of, of great academic thinking with real public policy challenges. I'm hoping that one day that many people around here will be running UK government. We're running countries across the world and Warwick graduates are in control and maybe <laughs> the system will work. Okay. Well, <laughs> 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 <laughs>